I'm Linda Fields. I am the current president of the Friends of Tennessee National Wildlife Refuge. And today, we are going to be making a Solo Cup Hummingbird Feeder. This is what our finished product is going to look like. It is a very inexpensive uh, craft to make and you have almost everything, I'm sure, right there at your home. The items that you need to make the hummingbird feeder is first a solo cup. Red is preferred. If you do not happen to have a red one at home, you can use any other color. You can paint it. You can put red sticker flowers on it. Uh, you can uh, draw flowers and what, however you want to do to decorate it. Uh, but you start off with your solo cup. And the uh, other items that you need, a hole punch. You, if you don't have a hole punch, you can use an ice pick. You can use the point of your scissors, uh, but you do need to make a hole in the top. You will need a magic marker. And besides the scissors, you will need twine or string, or you can use yarn, uh, anything that is available for you to hang your feeder with. So we're going to take our solo cup, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, cut a half moon circle in the solo cup. And I like to make a template. You don't have to do that. You can draw it freehand, no problem. But I like to make a template and place it on the side of the cup, and then you draw around it with your magic marker. And you do one of these on each side of the solo cup. The next thing you do is make your holes for hanging the, uh, the hummingbird feeder. And I like to use a hole punch and you just make your hole just slightly beneath the rim. And then you take your twine or your string and you run it through the holes on the inside. The length of the twine is totally optional. You know where you're going to hang your feeder. So you want to make your twine the length that will be convenient for you to reach to um, to add the sugar water to it. And then you just make a, a knot in the top of your twine. And there is your Solo Cup Hummingbird Feeder. And as I mentioned before, you can decorate it. We have put stickers on this one, butterflies and leaves. And you can draw flowers. You can just decorate it any way that you would like or you can just leave it plain. And then it's ready now for you to add the sugar water from the top uh, into just, just below the, uh, the bottom edge of your hole. And your sugar water is four to one ratio, four parts water to one part sugar, and you're ready to go. Thank you.